Now, before I announce the winners, I think, did we want to pause and do some questions now? Sure. Um, I, we'll open it up for questions and answers right now. Uh, I don't see any questions at the moment. Um, again, use that Q&A section on the right-hand side of the screen if you, uh, if you have anything that you would like to ask, and, uh, and we'll go ahead and answer those uh, as they come in here. Um, we'll give just a second here to see if anybody has anything to type in. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and uh, announce the winners. And, uh, and please feel free to, you know, send any questions in that come up, you know, while we're talking about the winners, and, and we'll answer those at the, at the same time. Now hopefully the audio has been working okay. I see a comment here. A uh, question just came in. Uh, was there a difference between um, do this dosimetrists. Oh, dosimetrists that had been on the job for a long time and newer dosimetrists? We, we haven't cut through. It's a great question, Catherine. We haven't cut through the data yet to, 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 uh, to look for correlation with experience, but that's a great thing, and we will follow up on that. Uh, Sherry asks, uh, I would love to see the gold standard. Absolutely. We're, I think we're going to make that structure set available so everyone can take a look at it at their own time on their own planning system. You may want to unmute Dr. Sobchak. He may have some. Sure. Yeah, just a second here. So we will, um, at some point, hopefully within a week, get the structure set of the gold standard available for people to download. It's, it's a very small file. It should be easy to download and transfer into your planning system to compare with what you had. Uh, Dr. Sobchak and uh, um, John Rusky are um, unmuted now, so if you guys have any points to make, you know, based on what you've uh, seen or heard or questions that have been asked, please feel free to jump in. Well, this is Dr. Sobchak, uh, um, and I'm going to be leaving in just a moment. Uh, there was a question at the very end, do we use tomotherapy for treatment? No, our, our prostates are treated on 2100 IX. We have five machines uh, at three different sites that treat, so very, a common uh, treatment base, but not tomotherapy based. And then one other thing, there was a question earlier about why do we do a bowel prep for planning if we don't do a daily bowel prep? Um, well, much like rectal balloons, patients really hate daily bowel preps, and our feeling is if we can meet our dose restraints in a small volume bowel prep, that as the volume of the rectum increases, we're actually probably getting even better sparing. So we don't don't routinely ask the patients to do anything special through the course of the day uh, other than for their planning, their, their treatment planning simulation. And I will say bid my adieu. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you Thank so you. much, Dr. Sobchak. Take care. All right. We are going to oh, the, mo the moment you've all been – oh, wait. One oh. more question. We're about to announce the top three winners here. R real quick answer to the question just came across. Are physicists able to receive one CAMPEP credit for this program? We were supposed to hear back from the CAMPEP folks today on whether we are approved or not. I have not heard back yet. Um, as soon as we do, uh, if if you uh, you know if you're you know if we're able to give you the CAMPEPs, we'll definitely get those out to you. There's going to be a um, I'll say this right now when you when you go to log out of the the webinar you will get a, a page that's going to come up with some questions on it. To get your CAMPEP credits, if we get approved for them, uh, you will need to fill out those questions completely uh, um, before, you know, shutting down the, the WebEx, because if we don't have answers to those questions, we can't give out the, the CAMPEP. So, um, but hopefully, hopefully that will come through today and, uh, and we'll, you know, be able to, to get those out to you. All right, so let's see who the winners are. All right, here, I'll emulate a drum roll here. In third place, from the Tom Baker Cancer Center in Alberta, Canada, we have Nathan Wolf. Woohoo! In second place, also from Canada, Canada wow. just whooped up on us, <laughs> us America, uh, us south of the border, <laughs> Americans. From uh, British Columbia, Fraser Valley, we have, I hope I pronounced the name correctly, Nimet Nirani in second place. And then our grand prize winner for the inaugural contouring challenge with an amazing score of 83.73 from Maine General Medical Center, we have Eric LaVey. And I am pronouncing that right. I talked to him earlier today. So great job, you guys. Everyone else who participated, we will send you your results privately. Um, and then we will also make the structure sets available so that you can uh, review those on your own time. Now, I did want to let you know this is uh, something we are going to continue doing. This was the first time, hopefully, you got something out of it. Uh, a lot of ideas for the future, uh, obviously different regions, head, neck, GYN. We'd like to eventually do some image fusion sets where you do have complementary image sets to support your contouring. We saw we got another idea this morning to do post-op, 
uh, contouring challenges. And then we've already had requests to do regional competitions, for example, um, by, uh, by nation, by state, uh, that type of thing. Who knows where this will lead, but we hope it does eventually by, um, by doing this not-for-profit privatizing of quality, uh, so to speak. We'd like to get the conversation started and then have some people like Loyola go out there and say, hey, we're going to try some systems and see what works for us, and then they'll share their good experience with the rest of us. So if you have good ideas, make sure to let us know. Uh, give us feedback probably directly with, to Standard Imaging or to ROR uh, or to me would be fine. Look for us at AAMD in Minneapolis. We'll be doing a little mini contouring challenge there where you can stop by the booth and do some contouring, and I think we'll have a little prize for you. Yeah, so the, other than that, uh, I think we're done for the day. Neil, do you have any closing comments? Yeah, um, just a quick comment about the AMD meeting. Um, uh, the uh, ROR and standard imaging booths will be right next to each other. Um, we're right near the entrance, so we, sh we should be really easy to find. I think what we're going to be doing is probably like a um, you know, contour and ROI per day. You know, we're going to have, like, choose an ROI for the first day and, you know, take, you know, if you want to take some time, uh, well, I believe ROR is going to have some contouring, you know, uh, stations set up in their uh, booths where people can just, you know, take a few minutes and just contour an ROI. And then we'll be using uh, the structure software right there at uh, the standard imaging booth to uh, do the uh, um, analysis. So it uh, should be pretty exciting. Uh, a couple of questions just came in. Uh, Teresa asked, uh, will the data sets be available to just those who entered the challenge? Um, I believe actually we have a practice set that is up right now. Uh, it's it's still up from when we uh, when we started the challenge. All of the participants were given the chance to take a practice set, um, basically download that, and that is still available on the ROR website. Um, it is uh, their website is www.ror. It's actually ro resources. So just ro and then resources.com. Uh, but so we won't have a gold for that. That's a different data. Th there's no gold for that, but there is a data set that you can at least download and, and, and see how this works. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do about the, the gold data set at the moment. We'll have to, I think we have to discuss that a little bit. I think it's a good idea. Let, let's get back to you on that. I think um, we want to somehow make this, uh, make the knowledge, make it so that everyone can go through and see what that gold data set was. And in order to put the structures on something, you will have to have the CT set. So. We'll probably make uh, that available publicly, so that's a great, great point, Teresa. Uh, Christina asked, uh, would you ever think about a tutorial online option? Um, not quite sure. I, can, uh, I think training and interactive training and question and answers and contouring is going to be a natural follow-on. So the people who, like the Dr. S Dr. Sobchaks of the world, who have this experience and, and want to step out there and say these are the gold or what we consider the gold, because that's really the thing. Once we have a bunch of standard gold sets, and, and by, I don't just mean two or three, I really mean a good 20 or 30, that becomes your training ground for a new dosimetrists or even physicians and physicists, anyone who does contouring. So we have to first work on these standards. So we're, we're getting our, uh, dipping our toe, toe in the water, and I think a natural follow-on to that is then having uh, people who do training for these types of things in fact, I even think there's a training session at AAMD this year on contouring. Um, so it's definitely something uh, that should be done and hopefully will be a service offered. Okay. Um, I don't see any other questions. Uh, and we're right at one hour, which is exactly what we were trying to do. So um, I, will, uh, I will end it here. Again, thanks to everyone, participants uh, that took part in the challenge itself, everyone who took time today to... Uh, um, uh, you know, listen to uh, the presentations. Um, we did record this uh, webinar. Um, everyone who, uh, you know, was uh, um, either signed in to um, attend or, or couldn't attend, everyone will get a link to that, uh, that recording, and uh, we'll probably put a link to it up on, our, on the Standard Imaging website, too, um, so you can uh, check it out at any time, or, or if there's someone else that you think should learn about this, you know, please make sure you send uh, the link on to them so that they can check it out. Um, and if any questions come up, you know, after we're done here, you know, feel free to contact uh, me. I think everyone has uh, my contact information from the, um, you know, the, the WebEx invitations that were going out. Um, so, you know, feel free to contact me. And uh, if I don't have the answers, I certainly know where to find them. So um, everybody have a great day, great rest of your week. And uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you again. Don't forget if you're going to be at AMD in Minneapolis uh, to check us out. Thanks Thank so you. much. Bye now.